The partnership with One Bistro and Toward Independence didn't happen overnight. It took two years to make this happen. Um, but the city of Xenia was very instrumental in, in making this happen as well. Doing a, a community block grant uh, and helping with the funding of this project. You know, the mayor Xenia uh, comes, comes into the restaurant and there's a perfect example. She has had true friendships formed with our staff here and but also the clients that are here each day. Our clients are come in every day, they feel valued and they're giving back, but it's really been a benefit to the community, it's been a benefit to the clients, and it's been a benefit to Toward Independence. It's just a great, great opportunity for everybody. Well, when Alma first came to us, uh, she kind of kept to herself. Um, she always kept herself busy with, you know, little things that she wanted to do, you know, independently by herself. But once she started working with One Bistro, she started opening up a little bit. One Bistro was really the first small group project. She's become a lot more independent. Uh, when she's working at One Bistro, she, uh, she sees the clients, hands out the menus, sets up the table, you know, hands on napkins, utensils. She can fix drinks and she also busts tables. Um, and she can do that very independently. She, she gets really excited about working uh, with One Bistro. She likes meeting the people. She has that same energy when she's working with the day services program. I think it helps our clients grow uh, past expectations of, you know, people they're working with, expectations of their parents, expectations of, you know, what the community may think that they're capable of. It helps them look forward to something more, it helps them strive. Before, when I first started working here, I had no experience with working with clients with uh, disabilities, but um, every day, you know, you wake up, and you think about how positive they're going to be. So you want to be positive. You think about the energy level that they're going to have. So you want to have that same energy level. Um, it's breathtaking, really. It's breathtaking. It's, it's, it's meeting, fr it's friendships. You're developing new friendships. You know, once you get involved, it, it kind of just draws you in. It makes you want to do more. It makes you want to be a better person. It's life changing. It's I'm a most ethnic. What you tell you want to say? Sit the sit in the tiny. Yeah, that 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 money. Pity. Pizza. Mm hmm. Yeah, you make me honey. Hat pudding. One Bistro is a nonprofit. Pay what you can afford community cafe. We appreciate all that Torta Independence has done. Honestly, it would have been a lot tougher road to get here if it hadn't been for Torta Independence. I love their heart. I mean, for me, it is just so heartwarming to watch the staff interacting with the clients. They love them. It's not just a job to them. They have a passion for what they're doing. They connect together. They build relationships all the way up to management that encourages those relationships and the way that the staff and the management and the clients all interact and the level of respect that they have for each other is just very inspiring. For me, it was just such a blessing to even have them want to be a part of what we're doing. It also is amazing to have the opportunity to provide a platform for people that aren't familiar with people with disabilities or don't interact with them to get to come in and just see their amazing spirit and their work ethic and just the joy that they bring because that smile that lights up the room says hello better than anything that I could ever say. So they just are a blessing. They, they come in here and they bring joy. They're hard workers. They interact with everybody so well and I just love having the opportunity to be a part of that. Um, I believe that it's important to bring them together because they are a part of our community. I don't see why there should even be a division in the first place. They are as important to me as the businessman that comes in here and buys a meal and pays one forward. They are the heart and the soul of this community as well and they have something to contribute because it's, it's in them. We just have to provide that opportunity for them. And I've had people say to me, I didn't realize somebody with disabilities could, you know, work in a position like this, or I didn't realize that you could carry on a conversation with somebody with Down syndrome or something just because their experience has been limited. And the fact that we're in a position to break those barriers is just amazing. Um, a lot of times when you're a business, you don't think about what little things in the background that they could be a part of. Um, I think the next step is to sit down and, and talk about 
how you're going to set them up for success. And a lot of that the staff does. Um, we thought outside the box. Um, for example, you'll see I have a table number here. It's color coded with both this table, but also our chart out there that they have. And that allows opportunities for someone that might not be able to tell a table by the number. They can match the color. So I think just having the courage to think outside of the box um, and knowing that you're giving back in so many ways. Give it a chance.